Oh, wow! We wiped them all out in a single explosion! That's what you call efficiency! It's a shame we had to resort to this method. I've seen standard issue robots. Correct. Hopefully, the automat. Are you ready? Remember, try. It's all right. Are you ready? Remember. Oh no! It's all right. Are you ready? Remember. It's all right. Are you ready? Use the... Remember. To be honest, I didn't think it would be so powerful. This is the road that Topaz. Let's find her. Ah, this time. Uh, Mr. Sparog? Greetings, outside. Such a Topaz, from her perspective, while it is. Unlike. Don't worry. Himeko's. Why would Topaz come here? Is she looking for something? It's possible. Many mysteries lurk beneath the surface of this world. Oh, hey there, Slowpokes. I was starting to think you weren't gonna show up. Hmm. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, wow! <laughs> I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. <laughs> Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Of course! The Nameless have quite the reputation. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akavili, after all. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I presume you have a good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but... Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors. But we have very dear friends on Yerolo 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting, but this doesn't sound like a negotiation. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision ten minutes ago. 
<laughs> There's no fooling the Astral Express. You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. However, to keep things moving forward, there's usually only one solution. Uh-huh. What do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. <laughs> I wish. <sighs> so many eager faces. I won't keep you in the dark any longer. Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the table. Go, Numby. <laughs> Projects under my wing have no room for error. be revealed in lunar flame. Sent a storm. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! The times are changed. Awaken Thorman Scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> I'm on guard. My turn. Tedious. Be revealed in lunar flame. Blade of moon. changed. My 
turn. Awaken Thorman Scales. World Cleansing Dragon. <laughs> Changed. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Blade of moon. Astral Express is so highly regarded. Finished warming up? Now it's my turn. Stop! All of you, put down your weapons! Uh, Franya! Oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian? I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the Express crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> that would hardly be becoming of you. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. Uh, more important than this? Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Hmm, that's interesting. I was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz, and your childhood experiences truly touched me. 
Your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yorilo 6. So I can understand your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, I hope we can still find common ground through peaceful means. I have to admit, talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. I admire your determination, seeing as we've come uh, this far. I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step at a time. Members of the Express, we'll need your help too. dismal sight. This district. Have you been here before? Yes. This is where we put an end to it. Kyle, sorry. The path ahead. Excellent. Let's go. What is this place? We've never been here before, right? <laughs> We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. What? <laughs> Look. The people of Bellabok have not given up. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? I thought you might. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked so what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Bellabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion, and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory, after driving away all those who threatened it. <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations of Pelabogians. <sighs> Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. Uh, not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Uh, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together. 
and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Balabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Belabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the Nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. <laughs> Fantastic. That might just work. As for the uh, reports and potential accountability... <sighs> I'll handle it. Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. Uh, don't worry, it's it's nothing I can't handle. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. If that's what they want to do, then so be it. I've long passed the stage of working just for money. Thank you so much for all you've done. I never thought we'd drag the Express into a crisis again. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. A rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. Oh, thinking about a career change? Sure thing. I'll put in the best words I can. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to discuss some lighter topics. Well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. I have arranged rooms for you all at the Goethe Hotel. Miss Topaz, if you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but... I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. <sighs> I was uh, speaking of... Right, I... Well, looks like everyone in the city... You know, <laughs> we should also be glad. The strategic, let's talk about this. It's getting late. Where to now? I've been 
wondering... How did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> March was look- I never thought this trip would be so... <sighs> tiring. In light of the events that have transpired, your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. <laughs> oh, you only got demoted one rank? <laughs> Aventurine? Hey, what? Can I help you? Oh, nothing. In our line of anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Um, wait, while you are enjoying your. Uh that's right. Diamond's been a great help to both <laughs> since you get the point. Huh. Panic honey. What? <laughs> That's right. Uh, hold on a minute. Honestly, who knows? But as we both... Uh, I'll get back to you later. <sighs> Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. I hope I made the right decision this time. <laughs> the snow is mesmerizing.